wonderful movie, a little daytime drama. It's airing this Saturday. And I got a couple of questions that Hallmark sent my way for me to answer. So let's get started. And the first question, forgive me for thumbing through my technology. I'm kind of not great at it. Um, I'm going to share a little bit with you guys um, about what the movie's about and what you guys can expect when you when you tune in on Saturday. Um, so I played Darren. And I, I was a soap guy on uh, Forever is a Long, Long Time. And I stepped away from it for a little while to pursue to a career in theater and I went and I did a play and I didn't do very well and not a lot of people showed up and some of the people that did show up didn't stick around for the whole thing and we meet me kind of licking my wounds a little bit at my home because my my brief theater career just kind of exploded in my face and Jen uh, plays the head writer on our soap opera and she's been tasked by the powers that be to come and chat with me because apparently since I've left, the show is not doing too well in the ratings. She and I were an item once upon a time. So it's a little bit strange and maybe a little awkward while we're talking about my, my maybe return to the show. Um, but it's super fun. And, uh, maybe you guys will see a little bit of sparks fly there. You know, um, the cool part about this too, is that Jen and I both come from the soap opera world. And watching this movie, um, we were sort of like uh, almost consultants about what it's like to film soap opera. So when you guys watch, you'll get kind of a behind the scenes view of what working on a soap opera is like. Um, I was on General Hospital and I played a detective. Um, and I, while there wasn't any specific real life uh, experiences from the soap storyline, there are a lot of things in this film that felt very much like shooting soaps back in the day. Um, crazy page count, we shoot it on a set, on a, on a studio setting instead of uh, on location. Um, it really will kind of give you guys almost like a primer of what a day in the life of a, of a soap star is, is kind of like. It was, uh, it was a little surreal for me, kind of art imitating life and stuff like that. Um, I think what I enjoyed most about bringing Darren to life uh, honestly, for me, it was a little bit of a walk down memory lane. Like I said, I mean, I, soap operas, General Hospital is kind of what gave me my start in the beginning. And it was a lot of nostalgia. You know, Jen and I were both on General Hospital, but at a slightly different time. So this also felt a little bit like rectifying a, uh, a ships in the night moment we had on General Hospital, which was pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really felt kind of cool to revisit some of those moments of my own life um many many fond memories there so that was great i have worked with jen before i don't know if you guys saw but jen and i were in a film called harvest love a few years back and it was super super fun i played will nash uh we were on a farm i mean it was it was a blast working with jen is great um so the boring answer to that is because we both work in soap operas, we're really good at like the left brain stuff. You know, we always stand where we're supposed to stand. We know our words, blah, 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 blah. And that's kind of the, the nuts and bolts of what we do for a living. But it's important if you, if you don't know how to do those things, then everything else on set suffers. So when you're with somebody who's really, really good at those things, it frees up all your brain space and everything else like that to play, you know, to have a good time because that's what we do. We make believe for a living. Hopefully we make believe. I don't know if you believe us, but um, but it's great when all of that stuff is out of the way and we're free to just have a good time. You know, we both know what we've come here to do and we're just going to have fun. And so it's always great working with somebody like that. Now, you are going to see a little bit of my character trying to maybe rekindle a little something uh, in, in this film. And uh, that was pretty fun to shoot. I mean, Jen and I work well together. I think the one that I enjoyed the most, the scene that I enjoyed the most in that film, uh, was probably maybe the speech at the end. I can't tell you what it's about, but there's a whole lot of who's who and what's what going on. Um, Linda Dano is there as well. And I mean, that was, <laughs> was a little surreal to get to work with, with soap royalty. And it was a trip to have all three of us there on set at this beautiful home. Everybody's dressed to the nines. So there's a speech moment at the end where we're all decked out. I think that one was super fun. I think you guys would dig it a lot. Um, and now, since a little daytime drama is a part of Hallmark Channel's Summer Nights, 
Um, we got a little mini game of Would You Rather coming up, and up to to walk through this one here, and I'll do it really quick. So, would I rather take a motorcycle ride through the canyons or hike in the mountains? God, I can't do this one quick. That's like the worst thing for you to make me choose between ever. I would like to take a motorcycle ride through the canyons to a mountain that I hike. That's usually what I do that a lot kind of in my real life. I know that's kind of cheating, but you can't make me pick between mountains and motorcycles. I got to do both. It's a thing. Um, watch a sunrise or a sunset. I'm going to have to go with sunset on this one. I'm a baby, man. I like sleep. I have been known to get out of bed before sun for work or for surf, but left to my own devices. I don't sleep in, man. I like sleep. I love it. Read a book or listen to music. Um, I don't read as much recreationally these days as I think maybe I should, and definitely not as much as I used to. So I'll probably go with listen to music on that one. Uh, what do we got? Go for a swim or go fishing? Oh, I like them both very much, but I'm going to say probably swimming because I like active stuff. I want to move. I want to do stuff. Um, and my species of fishing, the fishing that me and my dad do, is pretty active. We hike. We put a lot of miles on our feet. But going to go swimming on this one. Camping in the mountains or walk along the beach. You know, if the walk along the beach was with a surfboard, we're going to end up in the ocean. That'd probably be the one. But uh, camping in the mountains. The mountains have always kind of been, I don't know, my happy place. It's kind of my, my place to go and meditate, even though I'm not sitting there, you know, doing that. But I, I get to... I get to move around, and it's my place to, to go to clean my mind and calm down, get my blood pressure down, all that fun stuff. Um, paddle boarding or kayaking? Ooh. Paddle boarding. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with paddle boarding. Uh, next one we got sit by a campfire or watch for shooting stars. Um, I think, uh, I think I'm going to go with sit by a campfire. I like watching for shooting stars, but sitting by a campfire, I mean, that's really kind of it. Once you're there, you're in front of the fire, you've got it. Shooting stars, you could sit there and watch all night and maybe not see them. So uh, sitting by a campfire, there's something really, I don't know, mesmerizing about sitting in front of a campfire and just kind of getting lost. Um, so that's all I got for questions. Um, I really do. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I want to thank you for, and maybe in advance, for tuning in to watch my premiere of A Little Daytime Drama. Um, it's coming up this Saturday, August 21st at 9 p.m. 8 central on Hallmark Channel. And you can tweet along with us by using the hashtag a little daytime drama. So, again, guys, I'm really appreciative. Thanks very much. And uh, I hope to see you guys there.